join many others in congratulating India Foundation for organizing not just this event, but virtually running an ongoing campaign to work against what the biggest menace the modern world is facing today, that is the threat of terrorism. And it's sometime now, barring maybe very few, are affected by terrorism, either directly or indirectly. Directly because there would be a direct terrorist incident in their countries, there would be deaths in those countries, there would be disruption of life in those countries, and indirectly because may not, those incidents may not happen in those countries, but the ill effect of that are felt on those countries either because of decreased economic activity or because of other social issues that arise because of terrorist activity. And therefore, since some time has passed and most of the countries have suffered, I think it's a time to sit back and coolly prepare a strategy for counter-terrorism. And as we know, this is a threat to humanity itself. It's a threat to modern life. It's a threat to civil life. It's a threat to same thinking. And therefore, it's a threat to the existential crisis that the world is facing as a result of terrorism. And the idea is the terrorist act may be affecting a local situation at a local place, but it, the ripple effects of that are created in such a way that we must create a situation where not only people will be fighting terrorists, but they will like to fight somebody else who are the terrorists are hiding behind. And that's a danger that we are all facing, that while we must unite, all of us must unite together, all the world must unite together against very small number of terrorists, what are to create a situation like this, and should not be get swayed and play in the hands of terrorists to ensure that we start fighting each other rather than fighting terrorists together. And that's why it's a very important conference where we'll be discussing, deliberating, debating and also preparing a strategy for counter-terrorism. I know there are two elements, key elements. One, to fight terrorists, we need certain arms, ammunition, technology and everything else so that we can neutralize the terrorist activity. But the other more important thing is the ideology which gives rise to terrorism, how do you fight it together? And that's a very important element, the key element into fighting terrorism. If you go into the Middle East, the countries are really affected by terrorism and therefore they are now themselves rising against terrorism. There are countries which believe in any religion, all religions, they are united to fight terrorism. So therefore, terrorism is something which is, has to be isolated from the ideology which is nothing to do with religion. This is an ideology of making, disrupting the life, that's the ideology and there is nothing religious about it. I don't think any religion in the world would say that you try to go and kill the fellow citizen. And therefore, ideology which is the root cause of terrorism and deliberately being confused with the religion should be properly isolated, identified and we must all fight it together. And to do that, India is the right place because we have almost all religions of the world and most of the major religions of the world even originated in India. Or not originated but now practiced in India. And therefore, I would feel that we must ensure that India would be the place wherein we are victims of terrorism. At the same time, we feel that we should run a fight against terrorism. And therefore, this conference is organized. All the leading countries of the world and the leading experts who are themselves fighting terrorism are here. And therefore, we must prepare a strategy. What well, the key effect of terrorism over a product of we feel is a decrease in economic activity, which is what terrorism would also like to achieve. I am already seeing as a Commerce Minister of India that global trade is under serious threat. Now, global trade is under serious threat because of so many other reasons. The people are confusing the 
WTO with the idea of that it creates barriers and it creates a fundamental flow of goods and services from one country to another. In fact, we strongly believe that global trade is necessary to promote more economic activity so that poverty can be reduced, developing countries can benefit and therefore global trade is necessary. But global trade is itself under threat and will be under threat if we do not address terrorism problem. And therefore terrorism has to be identified as a great threat to global trade and those threats that were posed today by some countries raising unnecessary issues, we can de deal with them properly. Incidentally, to deal with them on 19th and 20th, just three days from now, India is convening a mini ministerial of 50 countries ministers from and the officials and the ambassadors from 50 countries will be here to ensure that we pursue the path of open trade, global trade, globalization so that each of us get connected. The connectivity that has come through globalization has brought humanity together. 7.3 billion people now can interact with each other, talk to each other, work together, share ideas with each other thanks to technology but also thanks to the promotion of idea of globalization and global trade itself. And therefore, our Prime Minister, when he was in Davos, he very clearly and unequivocally, unambiguously said that we want to have a free trade, open trade, and therefore we are pursuing that path. But the pursuance of this path itself will be threatened by some terrorist activity which will ensure that we disrupt this global trade. So therefore, we must work on terrorism and as an anti-terrorist activity even to ensure a bigger objective of ensuring that we all benefit from the activity that has been pursued for so many years in which all countries are participating and that should be pursued. The second element and that's my other response in the government is aviation. And the Prime Minister has asked me to look at it very recently. That's another tool or the other victim of terrorist activity will be the aviation sector. And therefore, we are trying to work with all the global community to find out how we can have best practices shared globally so that we do not allow the terrorists to work on the design, the finished design to disrupt the air traffic in some form. So we as India are really trying to take number of steps so that we pursue the path of progress, prosperity for all by ensuring that no extraneous activity will create a hurdle in that manner. And therefore, terrorism is certainly an extraneous activity. But luckily, while we say it is an activity, there has been a very good part of that, and that's a good sign of that, is all countries have now realized that we must fight terrorism. Some of the countries are trying to do it with their own efforts, with their own resources available with them, and therefore they are trying to achieve their own target. But just imagine, terrorism, the origin of terrorism, maybe in some other country, the manifestation may happen in some other country. For example, some of the terrorist attacks that take place in India, the motivation, the origination, the entire planning, the strategy does not happen on Indian soil. So unless we fight terrorism together, we will not be able to achieve the results and therefore rather than fighting individually, we must all fight it collectively. And that's why this important issue of counter-terrorism conference, which I hope eventually we lead to have a counter-terrorism front. A global activity, global front, global organization which will like to fight terrorism together. And all of us then will benefit from it. In fact, this should not be against a particular sect, particular reason, particular thing, but against terrorism, against terror, against those who are trying to threat, threaten the entire global order of the world and therefore we must all fight against it, try to work together and therefore I am very happy that you are all here. I am just here to lend my full support as a minister in the government of India but also in my individual capacity and also one of the directors of India Foundation which we all feel very strongly that India Foundation stands for creating global peace, global prosperity, global happiness and through various events this idea is perpetuated, idea is transmitted. So I think this is one of the pillars of India Foundation is to fight global terrorism but not the only platform, only objective of India Foundation but this becomes part of our overall foundation because we realize to 
pursue peace, pursue global prosperity, bring in economic development, terrorism will be a threat to that. And therefore, this conference has been organized. I wish you all of those who are here, welcome to India. Participate and thanks for participating in this conference. And I really offer you all my sincere best wishes for succeeding in this common endeavor of making the world a far better place than what it is today. Thank you very much. Congratulations.